Okay, so I'm going to graph number 33. That's the video I just did. I worked the problem. I'm going to graph it so I'm starting to get a lot of emails about how to actually graph them on WebAssign. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at my top inequality. And remember, you graph these just like it was an equation. Now, these are lines, so make sure that you're graphing a line. You don't want you don't want that ray, you don't want that segment, you want to make sure that the line is highlighted. This is in slope intercept form, so I'm gonna start at my y intercept, which is two, and then I'm gonna use my slope, which is one over four, so I'm gonna go up one and over four, and then notice I have my line. Now, this is a less than statement, so I need my line to be dashed, so I'm going to dash it. All right, so I'm done with that line. Now, you're not going to fill in anything until you're finished, so let's go ahead and graph this other line. I've got y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 5. Now, this is one of these weird ones where they don't give you the y-intercept on WebAssign, so you're just going to have to pick two more points. So if I were looking at this, I would probably pick in plug in 1 for x, so I would get 1 times 2 minus 5, which is negative 3. So I know that 1 negative 3 is a point. Almost didn't click my line. Make sure my, your line's clicked. So I've got 1 negative 3 is a point. And then I'm still going to use the fact that I know the slope is 2 over 1, so I'm going to go up 2 over 1. And now I've got that line. This line is solid because it's greater than or equal to, so I'm gonna just click on that. So now I have my two lines. Now, once you've um, already done your solution, just go ahead and you know that the solution set is this area right here that you have to fill in. So you can just click on fill, and it'll tell you that once you fill in, you can't make any changes. So I'm gonna fill in that area right there. And that is where I'm done. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and answer the other two questions since I've already worked the problem. I know that um, my x, for my vertex, my x coordinate was 4. My y coordinate was 3. I've already found that. And I already knew that my region was not bounded. So that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to submit this so y'all will see that that's how you get the answer. See? Check. 